What is good, YouTube? This is the FF Dynasty coming at you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below with either love or if you're feeling like some hate, throw some shade down there. Either way, it all greatly helps us out so we can keep bringing you new content. I bet the Two touchdown variance is terrible as well. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's get out of here and let's move on to a uh, little Cole Beasley hype video. I'm definitely going to get that <laughs> sound by the Cole Beasley. Hollywood Cole. Oh, man. He's not J. Cole, but he does rap. I don't know if y'all heard Cole Beasley's rap. But that one song, that one, that, that song about uh, uh, getting making moves like food trucks, uh, getting to the bread till it's chewed up, and my bank accounts look juiced up. <laughs> That's got hey. over a million plays on Spotify, yo. He's got five thousand people listening a month. I was like, I think old old Cole's over there just with uh you know fiscally responsible <laughs> he talks raps. about he, does, he can't snatch my chain because I ain't got one I got four sons and it's in their college fund or something like that <laughs> <laughs> like, I love a good fiscally responsible rap like yeah Jay Z so was talking about that on one song he's like you know what's better than spit making it rain at the strip club credit yeah. you want to know why Jewish people own all the property in America they got it like yeah Stop fucking up and get some credit, dude. Like he's trying to preach. I like that shit, but don't hear a lot of fiscally responsible rap. <laughs> no, but but Cole Beasley right now is fucking fiscally responsible for your goddamn dynasty team is what he is. Right. Or your or your redraft team, really. Oh now, fuck yeah. I've been scooping him up fucking everywhere because he's been crushing all year and he's still out there everywhere because nobody wants to respect this right. man. So me and Jay Wayne have gone back and forth. You don't want 15 points on your in your starting lineup. You don't want 15 well, points, a guaranteed. Fuck talk out. about that in a second. But me and Jay Wayne have gone back and forth, and there was you know a couple of spots here and there where we could have picked him up, and we have a fairly stacked roster. Just you know, we totally blew it by we'll not our, having Anthony Miller for, for for Cole Beasley. Just want to throw that out there for the record, but. Well, maybe, maybe not. Cole Beasley's 31, and, you know, maybe Anthony Miller will turn in. He's had some glimpses. doesn't matter. It's low um, tread on those 31-year-old tires. Uh, he's still 31, and he's still had some, some – he's played pretty much his entire career for the most part. You know, he just hasn't been targeted. It has been big upticks here and there. But this – Cole Beasley is just – the quintessential non-respect dynasty guy. And there is a reason why a couple of times where I told – Jay Wayne, that we weren't going to drop this guy to pick up that guy. And it's because it's this reason right here is because nobody respects him and you're not getting any return from Cole Beasley. If you pick him up, cause we're probably not going to start him because and we do have better players than Cole Beasley in most areas. Now, Cole Beasley this year is, is playing very well. Uh, Cole Beasley is the 19th overall PPR wide receiver. That's a wide receiver, too, if you're doing math here. Right. And why wouldn't you be starting this man? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you For don't the most part, to. We're starting, we're starting, you know. Uh, we got DJ Moore and we got. And we, we have got good Anderson, players. Tyler, special. Boyd. We have Rip, Tyler Boyd. We have Robert Woods. Uh. We got, uh, we got Allen a Robinson, good squad. There, there's there's a lot of there's it's a lot the of players. It's the season of to COVID, start. man, and there's right. like mad injuries. Cole Beasley is the perfect dude to have but on your team. The idea is is that nobody respects the value of Cole Beasley. So I'm like, I'm not picking this guy up right now, and I do have him on several teams already. But like, I'm not picking this guy up in in leagues where you know he's sitting on the waiver wire and we have a stacked team because I can't do anything with him. Like he's not, I can't, nobody's giving you a goddamn. And now hopefully, hopefully, hopefully by the end of this back half of the season, there'll be a little bit of respect on Cole Beasley's name here because he looks like he's on pace for about 90 catches and a thousand yards, which would be the first time he's ever had a thousand yards in his career. Um, but he is absolutely crushing. And you are right, Jay Wayne. We do have him in a team that we are rebuilding and we're only rebuilding because Dak went hurt, went down and, um, we have David Johnson, who's a little old and we're worried about. And we have Dalvin Cook, who missed, missed a chunk of time here. And without Dak and the way this league is scored, obviously Dak was the top fantasy scorer in just about any league before he went out. But, like, it's a super flex. 
two quarterback and like we don't have a lot of depth necessarily but Dak was really carrying the load for our team and we didn't have a good third quarterback so we're pretty much out and we got an old team other than that for the most part so we started selling off pieces but nobody same problem literally nobody wants Cole Beasley so today I did something that I normally would never do uh, and I posted in that thing in the group chat like I took a screenshot of him being he's 17th in that particular league because you get uh, points for first down catches. I thought you were going to uh, say you sent a, a trade calculator or something. No. Well, I never I never do the old, you know, hey, you got to you got to pick up. You got to get this guy off my team because he's so good and you got everybody in the league needs him yeah. and blah, 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 blah. But here I felt well, I was like, listen. Nobody, how could anybody know what Cole Beasley's doing unless you're a Bills fan or unless you have him on your team? Because if you don't, you're not seeing what this game log looks like. I was like, we were winning. We were the number two team in the league, point total wise. Um, and now we're not. And we've sold off some pieces since, and we're in a little bit of a small reboot. Um, but somebody needs to come get Cole Beasley. Here's the game log. Here's all the points that he scored. And here he is as wide receiver 17 in the league. Like I can guarantee you some people trying to win right now are starting players who are much worse than Cole Beasley on a week to week basis. Like, what are we doing here? And, you know, of course he got some snarky comments immediately. Like, Oh yeah, of course he's better than everybody on your team and you need to get him. And it was like, listen, I wouldn't be selling him if he wasn't 31 and we weren't about to basically punt on this whole next year. Like, I wouldn't be selling Cole, but I would just keep him as my little dirty secret because guess what? In every dynasty league that I'm fucking competing in and it's a deeper start roster, which is a lot of the dynasty leagues I play in because I don't play with kickers and defenses and there's an extra flex or two. I want Cole Beasley to be the last damn guy in my starting lineup every damn week because this guy just goes out there every single week, like you said, Jay Wayne, and puts up 10, 12, 15 points. And I get it. Nobody in the dynasty community cares about anybody who isn't in the first two or three rounds. Like, oh, if he's not, the, if they aren't the best player ever, fuck this guy. He's terrible. That guy sucks. Your team needs to be made up of a bunch of dudes who score 10 or 15 points after your first couple of rock stars. Like, that's just how this fucking works. And like, even if you, if you're so good, you don't need Cole Beasley, which in a fair amount of leagues where I have Cole Beasley, I don't necessarily need him. He's working his way to being needed no matter who you have because of his fucking, like he's not on the waiver wires anymore. He put up 10 and a hundred or whatever last week. Um, but like, I don't, I don't need anyone to have respect for Cole Beasley. I'll pick him up off the waiver and this, this rider, I'm rider dying with, Cole Beasley. Um, I need I need I, some respect on his name, and I'm hoping this will get a, maybe a little bit of respect on his name. Maybe and I've someone seen, in this league will watch this video and be like, oh, maybe I should get Cole Beasley. Well, just in general, like I just feel like we somebody needs to start being Cole Beasley's hype man, and I'm right. here for it. We need to hype this man up because he's putting out a nice performance this year. He looks great on the field when you watch him. I've been betting on a lot of bills you know, for or against. And this, man, he just, this man is 14th in receptions. 19th in targets, 17th in yards, and and to sprinkle on a little fun, he's 28th in yak. So, like these, are, like if you put these, we should put a, we should do this, we should put something on Twitter and be like, name this player, and we'll put his stats and his PPR average and where he is receiving wise, and I guarantee you that no one will be like Cole Beasley. Like, yeah, like what exactly. the fuck, people? Cole Beasley. And I like thought I said, this was going to be a joke. I thought for sure this was going to be a joke, and I was going to have to come in here and be like, no, no, no. Pew, pew, pew. I'm going to hit that horn several times. I don't have the mixer with me right now, but you guys have heard no, it. I'm, I'm definitely I'm using a sound horn. But. I've been in a couple horn. of leagues with Big Co, FFPC, a couple other leagues where we, we got teams that are chasing around, and, and you know, I might, I might need a third – flexible guy or a second flexible guy and and Cole Beasley is going to be the guy who's going out I'm I'm sending a third round pick out for Cole Beasley in every league because there's so much goddamn disrespect and if you're going to tell me that I could figure out some sort of a deal for cheap Cole Beasley like I'm fucking in and I'll I'll just I'll ride him for and it's not to say that it's just going to be a one and done he could have an okay season next year as well um in in Buffalo if, if Josh Allen keeps it up I think Gabriel Davis is is emerging as as being a pretty decent player but you're still going to need a guy like Cole Beasley to do the dirty work um well, let me practice what I preach and uh and look up what oh man Cole Beasley got 29 million dollars oh my goodness let me see he signed a four-year deal which this is his first year of that four-year deal 
for $29 million. The Buffalo Bills put some respect on that man's name, but a running back can't get fucking paid, but Cole Beasley could get $29 million. Okay. He's getting paid probably he's getting paid four and a half plus on average, which is like some of the best running backs in the, well, I guess not quite. They, some the best ones are getting no, all all the good ones like, are north of ten. Yeah, that, good for them. But still, like right. he's gonna no, be I there, think. man. I don't care that he's thirty one. He's got a couple, he's got several. He he he's trying to get down. I'm not going several years. The kiss is an outlier season right now for how good he's been. Like I'm not man, gonna go. He ahead was and good say last just, year. Man, look, he was, man, he was just fine a, last year. He's had a couple of seasons, but just fine isn't what he's doing right now. What he's doing right now is 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 really good. He's wider. He's, he's a wide receiver startable. two right now. He's um, he's a wide receiver two, not three, a couple of, not four, not five with bye weeks. Two, motherfucker. He had a couple of seasons where he was fun uh, to own. Um, and, and a good fill in guy. And he's always been right there, but that's why there's no respect on his name. Um, and, and he's playing be, through an injury. Just there needs to be right now. And you know, it's like you said, it's not to say that there can't be another good year from Cole Beasley here, barring injury. Now, would I go much further than that? And would I say it's going to be a replica of this year? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. I would lean probably not. He's not going to catch 90 balls for a thousand yards next year. I would say no. Um, but you know, it's, Look at what Wes, Wes Walker didn't really come even on if until he, late. Even if you trade, even if you trade uh, uh, some later picks and and some some somebody else for Cole Beasley because you're trying to win a championship, I think he's a fantastic guy to put at the end of your bench. And next year he could be plenty of bye week fill in spot duty, uh, mop up duty for for your squad as well. So is I mean, it Cole out of possibilities to see his career take off like Wes Welker's did? I mean, I don't think nah, Cole, I don't think Wes Welker anywhere good as Wes Welker. I don't think Wes Welker was thirty-one when his career took off, though. And and this is Cole's second year in in. It is. Uh, you're right. You're right. Buffalo. I fucked that up, and I might be wrong about Wes Welker too. That was right right in the cru- crux of me getting super into f- NFL football and making that like what I'm about all the fucking time. Yeah, I think he just played out his his time in Miami, and then once he got out of Miami, they kind of turned him into a good player in new england anyway cole beasley put some respect on that man's name that's what i'm saying i'm trying to be the hype man for fucking cole beasley here like let's go i'm growing my hair out for cole i'm just you know fucking followed him on spotify you think you think you i think didn't that, i did not follow him on spotify do you think that um i'm not going that far i will hype man the shit out of you in the football spectrum but i'm not listening to your music do you think that his teammates you think he gets more clout with his teammates for having a rap album or less? I mean you think so they clown th- him for it? You think they're like you think I think there's a little bit of clowning, but the fact that he probably could freestyle it for lack of a better room. term, spit a few bars here or there yeah. that probably don't completely embarrass him. I think there's clout there. There's a little there's too many analogies. Um Cole, if you could dial it back a little bit but that's basically what white people think rap is is it's just a bunch of analogies <laughs> all right let's get out of here um it's been way too long on these two idiots yeah or three idiots <laughs> um so we'll see you next time peace